We have some amazing glitches that are working right now for Season 4 of Modern Warfare 3 and I'm going to be showing you how to do them all in this video. So sit tight, relax, they're all shown on screen right now so skip to which one that interests you or watch the entire thing, it doesn't really matter or bother me at all. Just as long as you like and subscribe, I'm happy. You done it? Alright, cool, let's begin. I load up my gun and I'm ready to go I got a glitch in my pocket, it's a camo show Why stick to the map and no one knows I'm there Cause I take out my enemies without any cow a brand new duplication glitch for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies which requires no tombstone perk, no loopholes to jump through, it's way too simple to even be true, but trust me it is. And the best part is you can duplicate your tombstones as well, which is absolutely insane. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this in this video, so drop a like, subscribe, your boy is back! And let's take a quick look at my sponsor for this video, Mitch Cactus, because he offers a range of services for Modern Warfare 3, including camos, camos, and more camos for both Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. He's also got pre-made accounts for Modern Warfare 3, and then also Zombies. Zombie schematics boost, you got the nuke skin boost, over 10,000 customer reviews, we can check out yourself, go ahead and use code Joey for 5% off, links in the description, and now let's get back to the video. And I'm going to be equipping all this bad boys right over here, so I'm going to be showing you that you can actually use them in the game, and you'll still get them duplicated in the game as well, so don't be scared to use your stuff guys, make sure you do use them because you're going to be duplicating them anyway, and also if you've got a tombstone anywhere on the map, if you've got any tombstone, go ahead and get your items from there, because when you do this duplication, you can actually get your tombstone tombstone stuff items back in the next game your tombstone will still be there so it's like a double duplication and a tombstone glitch at once as well so it's basically a new tombstone glitch but even easier and less complication and hoops to jump through so i'm gonna fast forward to the end of the game so i can show you exactly how to do this Alrighty, guys so i've been going afk for about 30 minutes right now and um now this storm is actually coming in as you can see here I'm going to make my way to this X4 zone over here because the tier 1 zone is a lot easier to do than the orange tier zone. I'd recommend to go to the tier 1 zone. So I'm going to make my way over there right now and I'll see you guys when I get there. And then the storm starts shrinking over the map. When it's at this point, this is where the glitch is going to happen. When this starts happening, go to one of the X fills on the edge of the map and wait for the storm to come and almost hit you. When it's almost about to hit you, probably about like 10, 20 seconds away, call in the chopper so that the chopper lands when it's in the storm. That's gonna disable the x fill, but the chopper's still gonna land, and that's when you're gonna get into the chopper at 10 seconds. So wait for the time on the screen to hit 10 seconds, then get into the chopper and wait for it to lift off. Now wait about five seconds so it's high enough in the air, then jump off the chopper and parachute so that the chopper flies into the distance while it's still parachuting. So don't jump too early and don't jump too late that you actually get x filled. You don't want to x fill, you want to be disconnected from the game and that's what the glitch is. And wait until you get disconnected, make sure you don't die. If you die, see you later, you're gone. And then just wait till you get disconnected and once you've got disconnected, it might take a few seconds, it might take a couple of minutes, but when you do get disconnected, go back to zombies and you'll see how have everything that you started with in your um, first game that you just finished right there in inventory and you got and kept all the XP that you went through in that game. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing, I'm hiding under the map without you knowing, just so that I can level up fast, if I don't like how I play then kiss my ass. But the yes indeed, the battle pass token glitch where you go AFK and get tokens overnight while you're sleeping is still working, I'm going to be showing you how to do it if you don't know what about it already or you've forgotten, so make sure you drop a like, subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So what you're going to do is come to the war zone section and then go all the way down to plunder quads so plunder might not be in the game for a little while so make sure you do this asap they usually take it out every two or three weeks and i think this is the last week i'm pretty sure don't take my word for it but i'm pretty sure it is so do it as soon as you can go to plunder quads guys and from here make sure squad fill is on in the bottom left corner then you're going to go to the settings menu you're going to go to quick settings actually i know sorry you're going to go to control settings Go all the way to gameplay, come down to parachute, automatic behavior, just right here, make sure it's on always. Now guys, literally go AFK, and if you want weapon XP, you can get AFK weapon XP by doing this as well. Go to the weapon section, go to your weapon, and put it as your primary loadout. As you can see here, my primary is a Khan on the 8, so if I go AFK right now and plunder, I can level up my Khan on the 8 by going AFK. Literally from here guys, all you're going to do is literally put your controller down and go to sleep. If you find you're getting kicked for an activity, flip your controller down up on the opposite side, so make sure the analog sticks are pointing outwards so your character's always moving, and you're going to be going AFK the whole night. Then you're going to wake up and you're going to see battle pass tokens waiting for you. So yeah, that was a quick update to let you know that it is still working, so go hard guys until plunder is gone. This is OP. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing, I'm hiding under the map without you knowing just so that i can level up fast if i don't like how i play then kiss my ass what the so just like yesterday's video go ahead and get nothing equipped just go straight into a modern warfare 3 zombies game and make sure squad feels on so that you get xp for your rank and some money as well both of this is going to get you more xp when you exfil at the end of the game so anyway once you ran literally as soon as you spawn there's going to be a tower nearby literally a tower probably about a 30 second run head straight there and climb up this
this is what they look like. I've got three around me when I spawn just here. And when I go all the way to the top, there's not going to be any zombies coming towards you. So just go AFK here until the end of the game. At the end of the game, jump off and go and exfil. That's literally all you have to do every single game. And you're going to get literally three and a half tokens every single game if you have a double XP token equipped. I'm at the top of leaderboards and I'm on fire. If you say you don't like glitches, then I say that you're a liar. I'm the glitch master. I'm untouchable. So guys, all you need to do is literally drop into a game of zombies, but make sure you bring in all the good stuff so they can duplicate them into your stash. And you also need the exact amount of slots in your stash that you're going to duplicate. So if you're going to duplicate five items, you need five items left in your stash. Otherwise, you'll have some duplications go missing and it's going to be very annoying for you. Okay, so once you get your stuff, drop into a game of zombies and go buy the tombstone perk if you don't have it equipped already in your inventory. And you're also going to need an extra thousand dollars after buying a tombstone perk to activate the portal. And that's it. Once you got all the stuff, guys, Go ahead and go to the bad signal portal located over here on the map. You're going to put in a new set of coordinates and this is what you're going to be putting in. Bang, bang, and bang. Those three in a row. Go ahead and activate the portal now. Make sure you activate the portal before you run. Then you're going to run upstairs and make your way over to this bad signal portal. Activate the portal. And then I suggest using the scorcher or make sure you got stamina up and just your fist if you don't have a scorcher. Or you can join my Discord link below and get a scorcher for free in less than two minutes from one of my helpers. But anyway, once you activated the bad signal portal, make sure you go back to the other portal as quick as you can and go into it. It's going to teleport you on top of this big tower right here. Turn to the right, jump off and fly to the edge of the map. Now notice the time on the left. Once I hit about four seconds, open your map. And when it hits two seconds, go ahead and vote yes. Now a 10 second time is going to come down. And here's the actual easy part. For some reason, it works when I go in five. So as long as you walk into the um, out of bounds area when the timer hits seven, six, or just about to hit five, you should be good to go. Now it's going to show a screen like this. Now guys, once all this is done and it goes completely black, wait for the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies logo to come in the top left corner. Once that happens, completely exit out of the app. Now after this, you're completely done. Go back to the Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. It might be frozen. Just keep on retrying until it unfreezes. Took me about two minutes or so. And when you go in, you're going to see you have all the duplication stuff in your items. Unequip them, go back into the game, and you're going to see that you have the tombstone still there with the items you duplicated. And you can either do this tombstone glitch again, or you can back out X-Fill and you've duplicated your items successfully. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. I'm going to be showing you the weapon XP glitch, which is absolutely nuts right now. All you literally need to do is grab at least one friend with you, but the more friends that join, the better. If you don't have any friends to play with, join my Discord. There's heaps of active players right now, over 7,000 members, and they all want to play. So if you need anyone, go ahead and join my Discord. And when you all join a lobby, go to your weapon section, come to the class, get the weapon that you want to level up. As you can see, I'm level one right now. And then come to the perk package right here and make sure you've got, not resupply perk, but make sure you've got this bad boy right here it's called the survivor perk this one's going to allow you to revive faster and since this is a revive glitch to get weapon xp you're going to want to get more revives in quicker because that's more xp for your weapon all right and once the boys have joined make sure you put on a weapon xp double xp token and then go ahead and start a match make sure squad fills off if there's less than four players in your squad once you're in the game this is what you're going to do to unlock a whole weapon in literally one game all right guys so once you join the game all you're going to do is land at an ammo cache with all of your teammates that you're going to be reviving so you get that weapon xp so all right guys so once you're here you're going to just revive your teammate over and over again and you're going to get 100 xp or 200 xp if you've got a plus xp token every single time you revive him he's just going to keep on killing himself and you're going to get weapon xp and rank xp as well but most importantly your teammates are also going to be getting xp for them just doing nothing literally killing themselves both the people that helped me out in this video said they got around 60,000 xp for their rank for literally doing nothing so everyone's going to be getting rank xp but the guy doing it's going to get the weapon xp which is you my xp flowing my weapon is glowing i'm hiding under the map with that you knowing just so that I can level up fast if I don't like how I play then kiss my ass go ahead and go to zombie section and get all the weapons that you want to level up and then get all the schematics and cases that you can the better equipment you have the better you're going to be and more XP you're going to get now drop into a game of zombies by yourself or with a friend it doesn't really matter and head straight to the outlast contract yep the outlast contract glitch is still working and it's still freaking crazy guaranteed over 100,000 rank XP and up to 50,000 weapon XP and don't forget the three to four battle pass tokens when you got double xp on as well 
freaking insane. So anyway, once you get to the location of the Outlast contract, go ahead and start it and wait to get to 95%, go to the map and cancel it. And now the herd of zombies is gonna come after you for literally the entire game. You've got over an hour now to just shred zombies and level up your weapons. Do this for your entire game, you're gonna love it. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. I'm gonna keep this one short. So all you're gonna do is go to zombies and get the weapon that you wanna level up and get everything that you can help you with. So the cases and schematics, they're gonna help you not die, get the best armor that you can, etc. Go to the exfil in the orange tier zone and go and start the exfil over and over again. You're gonna have a minute of a wave of like a billion zombies coming at you, just slaughter them. And then when the chopper goes away, wait for the exfil to come back in about 20 to 30 seconds and recall it again and do the same thing over and over again. This is the greatest XP one in the whole video. You get way more XP doing this than any other other glitch I've shown you this video. So if I was to recommend anyone, it's this one. It's the most fun and it's the most XP. And it's the best one for getting camos as well. My XP flowing, my weapon is glowing. I'm hiding under the map without you knowing. Just so that I can level up fast. If I don't like how I play, then kiss my ass. And for this one, guys, you've probably seen it about 400 billion times, but I've got to include it because it's still working indeed. You're going to get the weapon that you want to level up. You're going to get decoy grenades and you're going to get the resupply perk as well. So swap that bad boy for the resupply. Then go ahead and start lockdown quads, which is on Rebirth Island. Take off squad fill or include it on, it doesn't really matter. Start the game and once you're in the game, this is what you're going to do. So once you're in the game, literally drop down three decoys next to enemies and watch this. Absolutely insane XP pop up on the screen. I'm not even doing anything. All I'm literally doing is just killing, killing, killing to get that weapon XP. If you want weapon XP, make sure you do get some kills. Just make sure that you open crates as well because you're gonna be getting ammunition boxes that you can use as well for these XP. So watch this, I throw two decoys, throw down an ammo box right here, refill, throw more decoys, and I'm getting all that XP for doing literally nothing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some kills for some weapon XP and uh, Bob's your uncle, baby. Thanks for watching, drop a like, subscribe, and Joey Rhymes is out.